Hi everybody, welcome to Paper Wishes Weekly Webisodes. I'm Lene Gehrig and today I've got a fantastic collection of crystal art card kits from our friends at Craft Buddy. This is also known as diamond painting. They make beautiful cards like this. Look at that. That's covered with crystals, you guys. It's a lot like paint by numbers and I can't wait to show you how to do this. So come play with us. This is the pink tulip kit. You can see covered in crystals. In fact, Steve, my cameraman, just asked me if it had a texture to it, and yes, it does. That's the crystals. And you can see, once they're adhered on there, they're not coming off, so mailing is not going to be a problem. This particular card is eight and three quarters by four and a quarters. It also comes with an envelope for mailing. Let's take a look inside this kit. Um, the instructions come in four different languages, of course, including English, and it has full instructions here. And it's got the card base right here. And I don't know if you can see, the card is covered with all these little um, letters. So it's almost like, it's like I said, it's like paint by numbers. Um, we'll take a better look at one out of the package. And then inside here, it's got all those little crystals, a little container, and a little tool. Very, very sweet. On this one, my friend Debbie made um, this. And oh, maybe Kayla made this. We had somebody out, um, Debbie was out ill last week, and so, um, a friend of ours, Dave, Kayla, stepped in and helped us with these, so I'm not sure which one she did. Um, but whoever <laughs> did this card, the top of it, they added um, a greeting there with, these are primary script greeting dazzle stickers, and we've got, um, of course, yellow, red, and blue, and then we added in green, brown, and black, because those are always really valuable to have. And then just a little glittery pink ribbon that came from the magenta dark pink ribbon set. All right, let's take a look at another one. At the end here, I am gonna show you exactly how to do this. This is the butterfly. Look at that, so beautiful. This card is six by six, also comes with an envelope. Along the outside edges here, Debbie, I know, did this one, and she added some uh, colorful thin line um, glitter dazzle stickers. So she took one that's blue and put that around the outside edge. I think she used that one right there just kind of outlined the entire card. And then she took some, we've got this great new Miri cardstock. This one's purple. She used that to mat right here, this little white greeting. And she used the uh, Pearl and Pastel We're Together Dazzle Sticker. She used this one right here for her little greeting and even put a couple little crystals on the top there. So beautiful. All right, now the next one, Oh, this one's so pretty. This one is Floral Border. <laughs> I had to look up the name for that one. This is the Floral Border, also a six by six card. It's this beautiful border all around the edge. And then Debbie made a photo card out of it. That is such a cool idea. So what she did was, when she finished her card, she took these oval cutting dies. Okay, and she not only cut the photo, but then uh, two mats. One of them was using this fuchsia pink Miri cardstock, which is gorgeous. And then she foam taped that to the center, added a little bit more of that fuchsia, and then cut this great little tag shape, right, the label shape, and then used some more of those We're Together Dazzle stickers in white. That color right there. Really beautiful. This one is just gorgeous. All right, so here we go. Here is the kit. This one is spring tulips. And as I said, four language instructions. It's just a staple together at the top. All right, Here's our little package. Here's our instructions. We're gonna choose the English one here. Um, basically saying, get it, figure out, identify the numbers of the letters on the dots, find the bag of crystals. Um, Okay, and then it says here, each one of these is covered in a plastic cover. So the adhesive is covered with plastic. The only part that is adhesive are the parts that have the little uh, letters on them. Maybe we can zoom in on that real quick, Steve. It's got all these little letters. Let me pull this off so we can see it without the adhesive on it. You see all those little letters? That's just where you're gonna add the crystals, and those are covered with adhesive. Yes, very tacky. All right, so the tip here is, is as you're applying the crystals, only remove a little bit at a time. 
okay? They don't want you to take the whole thing off because then you get stuck to it, things get stuck to it, your dog wants to see what it is, your cat walks across it, and pretty soon it's covered with stuff. So here's the envelope. Here are all the little packets of beads. I love how everything is assembled here. It's very well done, very organized. There we go. All right, now each one of these little packets is labeled with a letter. All right, and so you're gonna take some scissors, grab mine, and you're gonna cut them apart right down the middle, not, you know, you don't wanna get um, the area that of course is sealed together because then your beads are gonna go everywhere. So make sure you just cut between those little seams. Okay. Let's see what else we have. Ah. Yeah, we've got in here, this is our little tool. Okay, this is our little applicator tool. Then, this is really great. They give you all these little baggies because if you need to stop right in the middle of your project, these bags are gonna be cut open and then your little crystals are gonna fly everywhere. So once you open them and you're, you just pour them back in here and you can seal them up, which I thought was very nice. Then, I've got this little piece right here. This is actually wax. It's sticky and you have to peel off this back piece right here. And then what you're going to do is we want to hold on to that because we're going to use it again. This little tool is hollow inside. Okay, let's zoom in, Steve, for this part. This is going to be an extreme zoom. All right, and let's just stay there for a while. Then what we're going to do is we're going to take this and we're just going to put a little scoop in here. And you want to make sure that you have enough to fill in this little hollow tip. And that's what makes it tacky. Okay? Which is kind of cool because then you can just refresh it very easily. Sometimes tools that are meant to pick up jewels can kind of lose their tackiness. So this one you can just refresh that. All right, I'm going to put this little thing back on here. And we're going to look here and I'm going to demonstrate this, but I'm not going to finish this on air because that would just be boring <laughs> to see me sit here and cover these with crystals. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how to cover um, a portion of this and then when you wanna see the finished one, just look below the video at Paper Wishes and you'll see the, all the finished cards and you can see what it looks like. If you're watching us on YouTube, just look below the video or a link and it'll take you to our Paper Wishes webisode page and you'll see the cards that are all finished and we have a great money saver on this, you guys. And if you just wanna have like one or two of these, look below the video on Paper Wishes and you'll see that you can add just one kit into your car, okay? But we do have a great money saver on all four of those, so definitely check that out. All right, I think we're gonna start off with the letter B. Okay, cut this open. And I'm just gonna put out a couple of these. I did not cut it far enough. There we go. All right, I'm very excited. I have not done this before, you guys. You're gonna be able to tell how easy it is. So I'm just gonna pick up one of those little jewels. That was easy. We're just gonna tap that right down. Wow, that is easy and very satisfying. It is, it's like when I did paint by number kits. When I was little, younger, um, I did paint by numbers kits. Did you guys do those in the winter? In the winter in Oregon, it just rains. So <laughs> I did all kinds of crafts when I was a kid. And um, until I learned how to paint with my mom, I did paint by numbers kits. A good kind of way to start. All right, we're getting this. I'm going to do a couple more and then I'm going to switch colors. Now, 
I asked Debbie what the end of this tool is for, and I just figured it out. I said you can use it to kind of push things in place. You can also use it to kind of tap things down, like that. She also mentioned along the outside edge here, you'll notice there's a little bit extra adhesive that kind of sometimes goes around the outside edge. So when you finish your entire thing, you might notice that there's kind of a little tackiness around that. We have a suggestion here. Debbie said to use something like this. This is called the strap and tap. It's a um, perfect crafting pouch. It's meant for stamping or embossing. Um, for those of you who do that craft, you'll recognize this, but it's a little pouch filled with chalk. And when you're all done, okay, when you're all done with your project, Debbie said to take something like this and just to go around the edge right there. And then it, you can see this little line. There you go, there's that line. That was sticky. And so Debbie just put a little bit of chalk powder on that. You could use baby powder, you know, something to take away that tackiness would be very helpful. Okay, so that's a little tip from Debbie. All right, so now let's move on. We're gonna do A. Where's A? A is right here. Okay, I'm gonna take my little bead, bead, bead crystals and move those down. Okay, just gonna do a couple of these. Now I love that because I tapped on it and it's not even directly on the center of this little tool, but that is okay, it seems to be working great. And the only thing I can see is you do need to make sure that they're turned the right side and get them going in the right direction. I'm gonna try one, I picked this one up upside down. Oh, yep, you can, you can easily, oh, that didn't work. I was gonna say, you can easily turn it once you tap it down. There we go. I'm gonna use this little part of the tool. Go. Gosh, it's so fun just to sit and watch TV or listen to a podcast. When we had a lockdown with the pandemic, I just started listening to craft podcasts. And of course, you know, the true crime pad podcast. And um, I really enjoy doing that while I'm crafting. Any of you like to listen to podcasts too? And did any of you do paint by numbers when you were a kid? Definitely let me know in the comments if you enjoyed paint by numbers. Okay, so you guys, you get it, right? So you're doing that on all of your little number, oh, number all your little letters, and you're gonna switch into the greens right there. I'm gonna decorate this, get it all done. I'll put some dazzle greetings on here, maybe a little ribbon down below here. When it's all done, you guys can see what it looks like. And I'm gonna, I'll tell you what, I'll also, um, um, put all the other cards, I will put all the other cards down below the video here at Paper Wishes so you can see what they all look like and they're all the supply list for everything else we used. Don't forget to take out our money saver, it's right over there. And maybe we can zoom out here, Steve, and make sure to um, give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and subscribe. We do three to five videos a week and we wouldn't want you to miss a thing. Thanks for joining me today and I will see you next time.